What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Bird Talk, episode number three, coming to you live. Excited today to be talking about birds again, bird dogs, everything upland. So let's get into it. Today's topic revolves around something that a listener sent in to us. And again, with this Bird Talk, I want it to be user-generated content. So thanks to the listener for sending this in. Again, if you have anything that you want to hear talked about here on Bird Talk, any suggestions, anything that revolves just anything uplands, bird dogs, birds, anything. This is bird talk, and that's what we talk about here is anything to do with birds and upland hunting. So send it in, uplander18 at gmail.com, or shoot us a message on Instagram or Facebook. Thanks for listening. So let's talk about this topic that this listener sent in today, and that is uh, his, his dog loves to find birds but it usually takes that first find on a bird to really get the dog in the zone for hunting and until that dog finds that first bird it doesn't really know or seem to exactly know what's going on and it it really takes that first bird contact for the dog to settle into a rhythm of we're actually out here hunting we're looking for birds this is what we're doing today and this is a two-way street, and I think on opposite ends of the spectrum, you have a dog like this that maybe thinks you're just out for a hike and isn't really hardcore into looking for a bird until it actually comes across for one. And the other example would be a dog that runs super hot out the gate, runs by or misses birds because it's so amped up. It's just craving to go hunt, go find something, and it's not exactly using its nose to start. It's just running as hard as it can uh, through the woods, field, wherever you're at hunting. So I want to take some time today, get into this a little bit. I think it's a kind of an interesting topic, something that we can all learn a little bit more about to try and get our dogs in the right mindset at all times of, hey, we're going hunting today. We're looking for birds. You, be, you better be ready to find something. So with all my dogs, I've dealt with both ends of this spectrum where, you know, the dog runs super hard out of the gate, maybe blows by a bird or bus birds to start. And then the dog that doesn't have the hardcore go from the start and really does take until its first bird contact of the run to get into that rhythm of hunting. So there's a few things that I do with and during training for my dogs to get them in the mindset that we're out hunting and you better be ready to find a bird anywhere, whether it's 50 yards from the truck or half a mile from the truck. So let's start with the first time you ever put a dog or a puppy on a bird, a bird introduction, we'll call it that. And what I do is I'll carry a gun with me in the field. And that is the one thing that we're trying to put the point to the dog that represents a bird is the gun that when the gun comes out that there's going to be birds involved that day we're not out for a walk we're not out for a hike we're going hunting and this is serious there's going to be birds involved so i try and make that connection by starting a dog with its bird introduction by having a gun carried over my shoulder just a blank gun I, I don't load it, don't put any ammunition in it or anything. I just throw it over my shoulder so the dog sees the gun, gets comfortable with the gun, and also this helps uh, at the next stage too when you're doing your uh, gunfire introduction. Now the dog already has a positive image of the gun in its head because it was there for the beginning of the ride when it was first intro to birds. So I use the gun as that first connecting piece as to we're going hunting, this means birds. So like I said, I when I do a bird introduction, I will just carry a blank gun over my shoulder. That gives the dog a starting point to see the gun, start to realize that the gun means birds, and when we're going hunting, the gun's out and there's birds involved that day. And then from there on out, even after I do gunfire introductions and everything, if I'm just taking my dogs out for a little training run, uh, maybe I'm just shooting off blanks that day, I'll still carry the gun because that gun is, you know, kind of the glue that holds all the pieces together. It gets the dog in the right mindset that we're going hunting and there's birds involved. And so carrying a gun with you, even if it's blank, you're starting bird introductions, you're just trying to draw the comparison to the dog that 
the gun means good things and that when the gun comes out the there's going to be birds involved that day so next let's get into you've you've you're, you're going out training with your dog you've already you know done your bird introductions your gun introductions gunfire intro all that and you're just going out for a training day and what i do with my dogs is i'll usually set the first bird really really close to where i release them to go hunt and what i think this does for the dogs is it gives them an opportunity to get on a bird really fast they don't necessarily have to go out and look for it they they automatically hit that bird and they go oh there's a bird here this is 100 percent what we're doing it gets them into a bird contact really fast so it, it, again it, you're, you're drawing the line in comparison between when we're going hunting there's a really good chance that there's going to be a bird right here and it doesn't matter if you're 50 yards from the truck or we're a half mile from the truck you better be in the mindset and in the zone that we're going to find a bird here at some point whether it's really close from where we start or really far from where we start so setting a bird really close to where you release a dog to go hunt when you're training gets the dog and builds it a lot of confidence especially a younger dog when you're starting out training uh, doing things like that it gives the dog a lot of confidence to find a bird right away once the dog starts to figure out the game and 100 percent knows what we're out there to do i'll start to put that bird farther and farther away so i can evaluate if the dog has the confidence at this point and knows exactly what the task is for what we're out there doing and then at that point the dog starts to realize too that some days it has to search a little more for that first bird it's not always going to be a given to it so use your legs use your brain use your nose and go find that bird for me and a lot of times with this first bird what i'll do is i'll just launch the bird out of a launcher uh, i put usually quail pigeons whatever i have for training that day i'll put it in a launcher and i will launch that bird as soon as the dog makes scent contact with it or sometimes doesn't even make scent contact with it because i want that dog to be thinking oh crap there was a bird right here what did i just do did i mess this up did i make a mistake now that bird's gone and i wasn't in the necessarily maybe in the right mindset or in the right zone for looking for a bird and i was caught with my pants on the ground because there goes a bird and we lost out so I, I usually do that, especially after a dog has already had some bird contacts, had good bird introduction, has had a few birds shot over top of it, knows how to point a bird. I will start launching the first bird out of a launcher because it, it creates to the dog that it did something wrong. And again, we're trying to get our dog in the mindset that as soon as I tell it to go hunt, it better be on top of its game, not not on top of its game 100 yards from the truck or you know 10 minutes later starting to get into the rhythm it better be in the rhythm to be on top of its game and handle a bird correctly as soon as i tell it to go hunt so launching a bird as soon as the dog starts to make uh, scent contact with the bird uh, i'll launch it gives the dog you know just a second thought to think hey what did i do wrong here what what happened why is that bird flying away what did i what was my mistake here and it just it builds a lot of confidence in my dogs that i see that makes them hunt a lot smarter to begin with and not just run out the gate really hot really fast just we here we go we're hunting there could be a bird out here somewhere i want the dog to be in the zone as soon as i tell it to go hunting to be able to capitalize on any bird that we might come across whether it's right off the gate or you know a little little ways into the hunt we want the dog to be on top of its game at all times and kind of drawing that comparison into actually when we go hunting if i've got a young dog i will take it out to a place that i know i'm going to get it bird contacts right away i'm going to take it into uh, one of my better spots a place that i know holds birds maybe a fair amount of birds i know the area really well i know you know a pretty close proximity of where we're going to run into some birds at i'll take a younger dog into those spots to start because i know that i'm going to get the dog into birds it's going to realize what we're out there doing and it builds a lot of confidence in that dog if you can get it on birds really fast 
that, hey, we're out here hunting, there's birds here, this is what we're, we're doing. And it just builds a lot of confidence in that young dog and it makes it super clear to the dog what we're out there doing and what we're looking for. And so maybe on some of my bigger spots or we're going exploring, the dog has to search a little bit more. I'll save those spots for the more experienced dog, the dog that's got a little bit more grit in it, uh, knows for sure 100% the game we're playing and has a lot of confidence built into it already that we're going hunting and it's going to have to search, it's going to have to look. But as far as the dog that's new to the game, uh, doesn't really have a whole a lot of an idea of what's going on, I want it to get as many bird contacts as it can, as fast as it possibly can, so that it knows what we're out there doing. So just to recap here a little bit, and I want to run through all this again one more time because I'm not sure if I exactly presented it all in the most digestible way, but uh, just to give a really short, brief recap on everything, talking about dogs, getting them in the mindset to find birds right away, that we're going hunting and there's a good chance that there's something here and you need to be on top of your game hunting, searching, and being able to handle that bird properly as soon as we come across it, not just running really hot out the gate, uh, not using your nose, just running, going fast, going crazy, all of a sudden the bird flies away and you, you're standing there going, what the heck dog, if you would have just slowed down a little bit or used your mind a little bit on what we're doing here, we could have gotten a shot opportunity at that dog. Or on the other end of the spectrum, a dog that you tell it, let's go hunting, and it just maybe kind of bebops around in the woods or the field in front of you a little bit just doesn't look like it has like it knows its purpose of exactly what we're doing that day and then all of a sudden you it you comes across a bird and it it takes a little bit for it to get into the zone of hunting so we want our dogs to hunt smart we want them to hunt hard and we want them to do that from the start of the hunt all the way to the end of the hunt. And a couple things that you can do, and I personally do, to draw that comparison between hunting smart, hunting hard, is really from the beginning of the bird introduction with the dog, carrying a gun, a blank gun, getting the dog to realize that the gun means birds, and if the gun is out that day, there's going to be birds involved. So better be ready for a bird and be amped up to go hunting if the bird, if the gun comes out. So from there, going into training with a dog, setting up a bird super close to where you start your training. Get the dog on a bird pretty fast to be able to make the connection that, hey, we're out here hunting and I just found a bird really fast. It builds a lot of confidence in that dog. Uh, especially a younger dog or a dog that you're trying to build more confidence in that you're out hunting to give the dog an opportunity to be like, hey, yeah, there's a bird right here and this is what we're doing today. So I better be on top of my game. And then from there, when we actually go hunting, put that young dog or a dog that maybe you're trying to build a little bit more confidence in or even get a dog that is running hard out the gate, busting birds get it into a spot that you're going to find birds fast and take it to one of your better spots, a spot that you know well, that you can navigate through easily and put the dog in the right spot to be able to find birds and set that dog up for success to be able to find birds. So just a few things to think on, chew on, some of the stuff I do with my dogs to get them in the right mindset of we're going hunting, you better be on top of your game as soon as I say let's go hunting and when the gun comes out. So just a few things to think on there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if there's anything else you want to hear talked about or discussed on Bird Talk, go ahead, shoot us over a message on Instagram, Facebook, send an email, uplander at gmail.com. And... Next week, just to give you a little intro of what's going on and what we're going to talk about, I want it to be a little bit more lighthearted. It's going to be a funner show. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and talk about some of the mishaps I've had in the field, some of the things that have gone completely wrong. Uh, I think on social media these days especially, you see only the good side of stuff. You know, I, I definitely uh, am victim to this as well. I, I seem to only post the good things right the things that go right like the highlights of the hunt you never really always talk about 
the bad parts of the hunt or the things that didn't go right or the things that went completely wrong and it just wasn't how you pictured it you know the flubs if you want to call it of the hunt so there's definitely always those involved with a hunt no matter where you're at or what you're doing even if you're training or you're just out hunting with your dog the things that go wrong and i want to dive into a few stories on some of those things and i think it's going to be a fun light-hearted show and be fun to listen to so anyways with that see you guys here next week on bird talk thanks for tuning in